Hi there, this is David, and welcome to my latest Let's Play. Let's play the Sword of Hope for the original Game Boy, released in 1990 in America by Chemco, who's known for their gems like Secret of the Stars. But I really like this game, so we'll go ahead and get started. And we start off with the uh, prologue, so apparently this is some, like, legendary story. Uh, oh, we have to destroy a loom in darkness, returning the light to the kingdom. We have to keep darkness out of daylight? Huh. Reminds me of another game that I played. Yeah. So this game takes place in the country of Rikar, or at least it used to be peaceful. Oh, but apparently some evil dragon came in and it's no longer peaceful. Okay, but the dragon was always there, but it was bound by the, the hex of a sword. Huh. And it says here that the sword was thrust into the heart of his likeness, meaning that the sword wasn't actually thrust into the dragon. The sword was put into a painting of the dragon, and that bound the dragon somehow. Remember, uh, viewers, this game was released in 1990. The translation isn't the best, but I'll do my best, hey, whatever. So it looks here that the uh, king was evil after all, and the dragon ended up getting a complete control of him. Yeah. So then the king went and removed the sword from the ancient painting, and then the dragon was free, and darkness spilled over the land. Yeah. Oh, well that's no good. But this is all just a legend, right? A myth! This couldn't possibly be true. The power of mammon? The mana machine? Oh, that's a different game. Whoa! He turned the people into trees! Holy crap! What is this, Final Fantasy V? Oh, man. I'm, like, referencing all sorts of, uh, games just in the prologue. Ooh, the birth of Prince Theo. Hey! Oh. But isn't Prince Theo the king's son? Why would he be so mad? Oh, birthmark shaped like a dagger. Huh. Oh, oh, wow. So the king was gonna kill his own son? Like infanticide? Oh, man. Oh, hey, the brave knight Pascal from Tales of Graces F? No. <laughs> this is a different Pascal, thankfully. Oh, okay, well, great. So Prince Theo is rescued by Pascal. And then they fled in the forest of trees, which are people. Sure. Oh, and then apparently three magicians pop out of nowhere. To do what? Oh, okay, they stop the evil from spreading. By hiding the king and his castle. Underground? Whoa! How do you put a whole castle underground? That's different. Oh, one of the magicians got the Sword of Hope. Oh, okay, the Sword of Hope was the sword that was thrust inside the painting which sealed the dragon in the first place. So maybe if we're able to take that sword and thrust it back to the painting, that will seal the dragon up again. Hopefully. That's not the correct use of that word, past. It should be P-A-S-S-E-D, just saying. Yeah, I, 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 I really need to get off my grammar, police. <laughs> I'm really bad about that. Oh, okay, but here we are. And who are you? Wow, we have to go... You're, you're kicking us out? Really? Are you our father or something? Oh, well, we kind of know that. We heard the legend. Oh, yeah, we know that too, but thanks. Oh, only one of royal blood. You don't say. Only me? I'm of royal blood? Really? Oh, and one of these magicians has the Sword of Hope, but we don't know which one. That's just great. Oh, okay. And then they kind of sealed themselves up in their own domains so that the evil can't spread? I guess. Oh, and they gave us keys to open up the gates. Well, how convenient! Oh, but we lost the keys. Great. How convenient. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, will do. His name is Shaman? Okay, sure. Oh, well that's nice to know. So the Shaman can heal us and tell us the truth? Sure. Well, thanks. So yeah, if you haven't figured it out yet, we are Prince Theo. And this guy right here is that Knight Pascal who saved us. Hey! And he gives us some wheat, an herb, and a magic book. The magic book really does nothing, it just kind of records your magic spells. The wheat recovers HP, and the uh, herb recovers MP. But now we have some commands. We're in the old man's room. And we can look, we can open, we can hit, we can use, which would be like using items. Um, we can use magic, like the teleport spell, where we can teleport to the old man's house, or the shaman's house, but I don't want to do that right now. And we can look at our power, which tells us what we have equipped, our dexterity, which is actually our attack power, our stamina, which is our defense power, oddly enough, and, and the most oddly of it all, our agility, which is our magic attack power? Um, okay, yeah. Oh, and the game actually tells you how much experience you need to gain for the next level. Wow, no games really did that back then. I really like that. So if we look around in the room, we actually get a lot of, um, backstory. So the looking around the area that you're in gives you backstory, and it also works as a talk function. Every time that you look at a person, the uh, person will talk to you. So, yeah. Only me? Oh, I don't want this destiny on my shoulders. Yeah, we have to. Well, thanks, not that you can help me. And then we can open up stuff in the room, we can try to open up the old man. Um, it's like, I don't know why he's saying that, it's just odd. We can hit the room, you know, but a lot of times nothing really happens. We can hit the old man. Yeah, <laughs> the old man doesn't seem to like that. Oh. Yeah, I guess he raised me better than that. Okay. Well, let's move on over here, and now we're in the mill room, so let's look around. Oh, something strange. Oh, yeah, it's nothing! Actually, remember this for a long time later in the game. Let's see, it's a stone mill, just a stone mill, so nothing's going on there. And the game comes out of its way to tell you there's nothing special about it. Yeah, and I can go in here and I can try to, you know, do every single command on every single thing, but I'm not going to be doing that, because that's kind of ridiculous. But let's look around here. Oh. I like the music. It's nice. Uh, what do we have here? Oh. Who? But no one's there. Just a bunch of trees. Oh, is it the trees talking? Huh. It seems that way, doesn't it? Whoa! But an enemy attacks! Yeah, here we have a moth enemy. And, uh, these guys are the easiest enemy in the game. They can hit you by 1 HP. Um, they only have 3 HP total, so we can kill them in one hit. They can spray poison powder on you, uh, which is, like, essentially, it's not the poison status, it's like a stat down status. Um, it lowers your agility, your stamina, your dexterity, all that. But right on over here, conveniently enough, is the shaman's house. Oh. Huh. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, nice! You're gonna heal us? Oh, only if we pay you. Five gold? That's way too rich for my blood. I'm not paying that. Oh, so you're not gonna do it for me. What if I look at your crystal ball? Oh, okay. Does it tell the truth? No, it gives us a password. That's how old this game is. It doesn't even have actually have a save function. Yeah, I grew up in, like, the Dark Ages. We had passwords back then. So you'd have to write this thing down. It was really such a pain. Whenever you're playing it on a Game Boy, you know? You're, like, I was in the backseat of the car, you're on a road trip or whatever, you're playing it. You need to find a paper and a pencil and write down the password, and you gotta do it quickly. Because, you know, your mom's telling you to turn off the freaking Game Boy and everything. Yeah. Like, that was really a pain. And it's not like you could just leave the Game Boy on, either, because it took four AA batteries. Those things would, like, you know, run out in no time at all. So, yeah. Password systems, not really a fan. But anyway, let's go over here and, uh, talk to the trees. See what they have to say. Well, what is it? 
Oh, yeah, we know that. Oh, huh. Well, at least you used the right past this time. Oh, okay, we'll do our best. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can go around and talk to the trees constantly here, and, um, you know, learn some stuff. Let's see, um, I, I also want to look here at the grass. Oh, there's something in the grass. Oh, it's an animal's dung? I think that's what it's trying to say, that, like, that is an animal shit right there, and yeah, that's what you're looking at here. So what do we have here? Oh, some enemies are fighting far away. Uh-oh, uh-oh, yikes. If you look here, whenever there's a little dot right there, that means that there's an enemy over there. But every time that you do an action, an enemy can possibly move around. So if I, like, I don't know, hit the surroundings or something, the enemy might come and attack me. Oh, but look, another enemy appeared over here. So enemies are constantly moving. It's kind of cool. Um, what do the trees have to say? Oh, yeah, she's basically saying that as you gain levels, you gain magic spells, and you literally do. You'll gain, like, one or two magic spells every single level. And now enemies came and attacked me. And maybe we'll use a poison powder on- Whoa! Four points of damage! Holy crap! Thankfully, it doesn't really matter if I die or not. There's no, um, downfall for dying. Like, it, it doesn't hurt you at all for dying. Um, the only... I don't know. The, the only bad thing that happens if you do die is you get sent back to the old man's house. Um, you don't lose any gold. You don't lose any experience points. So that's kind of nice. Oh, hey there. Oh, ra ha ha -hidly. You don't say. Oh, I thought the castle was underground. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the castle is underground because of those magicians, right? Whoa! And now here we have another mob. I will be skipping battles, but these battles are so quick. I'll just go through it. Whatever. Kill them in one shot. So there you go. By the way, if you notice, the moth is giving me, like, random golden experience. The moth can give me between 0 and 2 gold and between 1 and 2 experience. So that's different. Oh, yeah. So we can't actually get inside this gate. Let's try to open it. It's not going to open. We need the key. Can we just knock and somebody will open it? No! Nobody's there! But how will we open up this gate? Find out next time on Let's Play the Sword of Hope. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.